welcome Tech It folks. It's so wonderful to be here. I am going to show you now an end-to-end -end demo scenario of our new low-code, no-code offering on BTP. With this demo, you're going to see how, thanks to our new unified low-code, no-code offering, your company can boost productivity and become more agile and innovative. In the demo, I'm going to be the head of customer strategy for AirX, a company that maintains and manufactures heating and cooling services. As I get started in the morning, I open my SAP work zone. I've created my own digital experience. It shows me all the information and connects to all the applications I need to get my work done on a daily basis. I can approve open items and I can see my business KPIs at one glimpse in one place. Let me first take a look at all my open items. Perfect. I've been able to approve and clear them all. Now, I know that recently we had severe problems with our customer processes in the call center. So, I'm now going to take a look at my process visibility dashboard. Looks good. 99% of our processes have been processed within 24 hours. That's great and right within our SLAs. I can also see that our customer satisfaction rate is up. That's really great. I'm super thrilled to see all of these positive evolvements. Until a week ago, our customers were complaining every time they had to request a spare part for their systems or even a new replacement system. They reported mistakes and severe delays when ordering those. We dove deeper into the problem with SAP Process Insights and were able to identify two main problems. Every time we had an incoming customer call, we first had order entry errors. That means the service agent had to jump between different systems to actually request the new machine or replacement part and had copy-paste errors. That means the order was wrong and therefore delayed. The second problem we had was the approval process. So after the spare part or the replacement machine had been ordered, it needed to be approved by management. And this approval was being done by email, taking long between different people. So it was everything but not efficient. The problem was urgent and needed to be resolved as soon as possible. Unfortunately, our IT department said that they had very, very little time to help us. So let me show you now how we solved this problem in just one week's time. Luckily, Frank, our operations lead of the call center, had recently upskilled to becoming a citizen developer. So let me show you how Frank built an app using SAP AppGiver. He starts his experience in the unified project overview of our low-code, no-code solutions on BTP. First of all, Frank wanted to help our service agents become more efficient. He used the SAP App Giver Composer Pro to build an on-screen interface for an app. With this app, the service agents would be able to order new replacement machines or spare parts directly out of SAP Service Cloud. The drag and drop controls and data fields from the component library made it easy to create a straightforward UI which is simple to coordinate and leaves little room for mistakes. Frank then used the SAP App Giver backend capabilities to connect his new app to S4HANA. This would allow him to fetch the customer equipment data. In the meantime, our IT colleagues helped create a new data model that would fetch the stock and pricing data from our vendors. We wanted to make sure that every time a service agent ordered a replacement machine or spare part, it would be rapidly available to our customers. This new data model was built using the new low-code experience of SAP Business Application Studio. Frank leveraged this new data model in his app built in AppGiver. And just like that, within one week, Frank was able to build an extension to SAP Service Cloud, fetching data from S4HANA plus external data, and that way, helping our service agents to assist our customers just from within one screen. Now we had solved the first problem. We had made the service agents more productive and reduced all their errors. Now we wanted to tackle the second problem, that is streamlining and speeding up the approval process and management side. We used SAP Process Automation to build an approval workflow connected to the SAP AppGiver app that we just saw. First, we're gonna set a trigger 
that starts the workflow every time a new replacement machine or spare part is requested through the app in Service Cloud. But of course, not all customers call. Some also send emails. So we set a second trigger to the workflow, which leverages a RPA bot that extracts data from those emails and also triggers the approval workflow. Lastly, we also wanted to give our customers the option to order the spare parts of the replacement machines directly online. For this, we added a third trigger, which is a form, and we built the form in SAP Process Automation using the drag and drop UI. We also added a rule to the workflow. Approvals were only needed if the spare parts were more expensive than 50 euros. Then we added some business logic to determine the approver automatically. This only takes a few steps. First, I added a decision for approval determination. Then I added a policy and configured a decision table. This will automatically define the approver for each request. And that's it. We have built our approval workflow and can now deploy it with just a few clicks and make it available to all our service agents. This is how we were able to solve our two broken processes in customer service in just one week's time. We extended SAP Service Cloud using SAP AppGyver, SAP Business Application Studio for low-code development, and SAP Process Automation, and integrated with S4HANA fetching data, plus also fetching external data, and all of this without writing a single line of code. And of course, this is just an example. Think of the many processes and applications you're now able to build and extend in your company using our new low-code, no-code offering. And all of that, of course, across all lines of business and in all industries. With SAP's new unified low-code, no-code offering on BTP, you can unlock your capacity to innovate while reducing the total cost of development. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of TechEd, and please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions, either directly or on the SAP community.